Hi, Shikhar. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. I'm doing great here in Davos uh, this time. Yes. I got to know that you're attending World Economic Forum. How's it going? It's great feeling to be, uh, you know, in the presence of such influential and world leaders. And BLS being a unicorn company, you know, we have also made our presence felt now this time in the World Economic Forum. That's nice. That's nice. You know, since BLS International deals with visas, I want to understand, has the demand for tourist visas increased or, you know, have has, has it improved basically now? See, definitely post-pandemic, we had seen a big surge in number of application count globally. You know, barring a few geographies of Russia and China, we have really got an increase in our application count globally. You know, some countries have reached peak pandemic level. And even in the month of June and July, we have seen a spike of more than 30 to 40 percent in certain countries. You know, and so globally, you know, post-pandemic now, uh, consumption pattern has changed and there has been an increase in demand. Right. What about student visas? Do you like get more of those now? So technically, we don't currently deal with the student visas, but we help some embassies in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in facilitating the appointment for student visas. Definitely, again, you know, post-pandemic, students have started to travel across the world and they have started taking admission in big numbers, specifically Indian students. Yes, yes. You know, also budget is round the corner. I want you to list three of the expectation that travel industry has from the government this year. See, a travel industry constitutes at least 5% of the GDP of the entire economy. Uh, you know, you know, we are expecting that this time in the new budget, travel industry should be designated as a most important prime sector, should be given a industrialized status. And, you know, uh, the industry people should get tax incentive to boost tourism into the country. Right. You know... Uh... This year's ad agenda of World Economic Forum is also sustainable development and women. You know, they're, they're promoting, encouraging women. I want to understand because you are the prop you're probably the right person to answer that. When we talk about visas and especially work visas, what's the uh, ratio like between men and women? Do, do women also, you know, apply for visas to go out and work? What is the ratio like? Is there a big gap? See, definitely we have started seeing a very big surge in women applying for visas globally. You know, before at the senior level, at CEO levels, women were traveling. Now, they have got a comfort at even mid-manager level. Level They are getting employment across the world. They are getting job security with the families are moving abroad. You know, in service industry, women are the leader. You know, even at our top management, it is being held by women. So, definitely we have seen a big surge in women traveling abroad. Uh, they now have job security and comfort in going to different countries along with their families to work. So good to hear that. You know, I was I was doing some research, some numbers. So I got to know that in 2018, uh, your company managed some 11 million visas. Then came 2019 and then the pandemic era. I want to understand how did you deal with that phase when, you know, there was no travel, no luxury, no nothing was happening. So definitely, you know, I think the worst period for the travel and tourism industry was the pandemic. Still, uh, you know, we were, uh, we had, attained a good profitability around eight to ten million dollars of the company because we had actually reduced our expenses uh you know uh, reduced our offices across the world uh, we were getting good revenues still from counselor services from our citizen services so definitely you know we really worked hard you know, the entire team got together as a family everyone took efforts that led to a, a you know decrease in expenses and uh you know profitability for the company Right. You know, we also saw a lot of layoffs, you know, people were firing their employees. I want to understand how much was the ratio when we talk about, you know, people trying to come back home, you know, fly back. So what was, how was the situation then? So definitely, you know, uh, that was a very difficult period wherein there was very less revenue from certain sectors of the industry. Uh, in right. our company, in the visa sector, the revenue was less. So definitely, we managed to, you know, reduce some salaries. Some people were put on leave without pay. And now everyone has gotten back. So definitely, you know, now uh, things are back in full swing. Uh, so across the world, you know, all our centers are open. We are getting good traction. The 11 million application count that we did in 2019, we are, you know, on track 
to achieve that this year in barring still few geographies being closed like china and russia but still in the countries that are open the numbers are big, quite good